Hi, I'm going to talk to you in this video on how the urban poor can make money. How the urban poor, because let's face it, whenever there's a natural disaster, uh, people who live in the urban areas, they are the poorest of the poor. When the banks move, it affects them. When the, you know, whether or not there's a supermarket there, it affects them. Okay. Uh, what can they do to make money? Well, I would say stay away from get rich quick schemes, even if they are marketed in the church. Number one. Establish a marketplace. I think that is either in Ezekiel or Jeremiah. The Jews established a marketplace. You you have to establish a marketplace. Uh, you can have yard sales. You can either buy a lot, a parking lot somewhere, or you can rent a lot for the for Saturday or Sunday or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can rent a lot, and you just have vendors. You have yard sales. You can have food, whatever you're going to sell. And you have to narrow it down to whatever you're going to sell to whatever people are buying. Okay. Um, buy the cheapest property you can in your community. I mean, they are out there, all the communities. Okay. Buy a lot and or an old house. Okay. Either for yourself or just as an investment. But buy property. Live cheap. Okay. Live cheap. I mean, you know, look for the bargains. Do the couponing. Look for the bargains. Okay, be prepared for disasters because these disasters are going to come. You know, they're going to be water shortages. I think I read uh, in Mississippi where uh, the city told the residents to stock up on water because they're going to have a water main break. Okay, so be prepared for disasters. Stock up on food, stock up on water. Be prepared for apocalypse. Be prepared, prepared for disaster. Uh, buy property, buy property, buy property. That eliminates any homeless situation. If you are in Toledo, Ohio, go ahead and buy a property for $500. Okay. Save for your children $5 a month. So when your child turns 17, you know, he should have, he or she should have something in the bank that, that will prevent him from hustling the streets, getting it from the streets. Okay. Um, like I said, you have to know your market, okay? Um, I wouldn't deal in fantasies when you when you establish your <coughs> excuse me when you establish your marketplace. Uh, you have to understand what people are buying. Just buy, sell what people are buying, okay? You know, as an aside thing, you know why are Christians have stopped giving, which is unfortunate. But why have Christians stopped giving? Because they are de basically disillusioned with the prosperity message. Uh, they probably don't have any money to give because, as you know, in 2008, the economy fell out. Okay? And they have, uh, Christians have mismanaged their money over the years. The churches have mismanaged their money. Because, look, if we're, Israelites learned the lesson when they were starving and the Lord told them to go down to Egypt to get some corn, which preserved the nation of Israel, if they, if they had not done that, Jesus would have had no way of coming um, to earth because he was going to come to the nation of Israel. He was not come, going to come to a pagan nation at all. Okay, so the Jews learned their lesson there when they had to go to Egypt to get that corn that they had stocked up for the seven years of famine. Uh, and so for the rest of the scriptures, you see Israelites stocking up on food. And and uh, they may have given some to the widows and the orders and the orphans and the strangers, but they have they learned their lesson about stocking up on food, about drying food and preserving food. Okay, it's a valuable lesson. So uh throughout scripture, particularly the old testament, you see Jews uh store storing food. Okay. Um Christians by and large are not prepared for disaster to say, well, the Lord's gonna take care of us. No, the Lord expects you to use common sense. Stock up on food, dry food, freeze food. Okay. Uh, canned food. The Lord expects us to use common sense. Okay? Uh, because the famine will come. And the Lord's not going to do anything about it. Why? Because it could be judgment. I don't know. That's his business. But the famine is going to come. The drought is going to come. It's already there in some state. Okay? Um, and, you know, Christians sometimes are not prepared for the famine. But I'm urging you, particularly if you're the urban poor, to be prepared for the famine. Be prepared for any disaster. Whether you have disaster, whether there's a hurricane, tornado, whatever, 
if you have a wind, a hurricane, or tornado, you're going to have uh, you're not going to have any electricity, and you may not have any water because the water runs off of electricity. So definitely, if you're urban poor, always be prepared for a disaster. You know, have some medications, etc. Okay. So uh, those are the, what eight steps of how the urban poor can make money. Uh, like I said, you know, some people they have a, a real job and then they have a part-time hustle. So yeah, I'm suggesting you get the part-time hustle, y'all. <laughs> have a nice day.